How many Iron Maiden fans we got in the room? Yeah. Quite a few. Of you. <laughs> well, I'm certainly one. That's for sure. Um, okay, we did. A, we, we kicked off with an album. Uh, we released an album in September of 2015, and we went out. As you probably know, Bruce was sick, and uh, we had to postpone the release of that album to see how he got over his illness. And then we went out with the Book of Souls tour, which started in February last year in Florida, 24th of Florida, uh, of uh, February. Now, when we were working out how to present the Book of Souls album, it was basically uh, taken from that song, obviously, which was very much about the Maya and the Mayan faith and what happened to these guys. And so our stage set was very, very predominantly inspired by that era of, uh, of Mesoamerica. And from that was the inspiration for, first of all, to do a gong uh, with Pisces, which was, they made a 40-inch reflected uh, stunning gong, which we took, which was like the, the canvas for the Mayan calendar, with a couple of changes to it. Now, once I spoke with Eric about this, uh, we decided how and when we could get the symbol, whether I was going to use one of my existing gongs. We, I think we, you made a new one for for me. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yes, we did. So then, out of that, and, and the showing them the stage set, Eric said, "What? A, but wouldn't it be nice if we put some related artwork on your symbols and have a complete set made just for the tour?" So that's how the idea was formed. And um, as we'll see from, uh, hopefully, you'll get to see them. Um, we, uh, I have 12 sets of symbols in, in my set. Uh, actually, it's 13 individual symbols, as we call our hat, a pair of symbols as one, right? So, the artwork was, which we, we settled on was uh, the middle of the Mayan calendar, which is, uh, has got the fifth sun god from, it. they share that calendar, it's Aztec and Maya. And there's a guy, his image is on the front, his name is Tona Tiwa. And he's the fifth sun god. So he's got a dagger hanging out of his chops. He's got googly eyes, as you'll see on the box. So Eric said, let's put this image on the symbol because we've got that on the gong. And then we discussed putting some glyphs, which are the, the Mayan writing, which is around the gong, uh, or around the calendar. And we decided to put my very first session with Iron Maiden, my very first official downbeat, which was January the 9th, 1983. So uh, we res uh, one of the guys at Piesty researched the glyphs and we came up with the glyphs for the date on that symbol. So each symbol has got the glyphs for corresponding to 1983, January the 9th. And so on, uh, as well on the symbol, you'll notice the logo of, uh, of Piesty is in the Iron Maiden font, which is something that is totally unique and something that I'm very blessed to have been able to use on my symbols since probably 1989, around that time on the, uh, well, I think I had it on the gong first, uh, in 1986, uh, I think, was somewhere back in time. I had a white gong, and we had the Heisty logo. And I remember your dad, when I asked him to do that, oh, he said, oh, <laughs> silence on the end of the phone for a while. <laughs> and he said, do you know what you're asking me to do? I said, yeah, I want you to put the Pisces logo, you know, made in font on the Pisces logo. And he said, Nick, he said, you know, that's our brand logo. We, we can't do that. Let me think about it. And so that's how that all started. Um, anyway, um, we do have a wonderful presentation box that this set of symbols comes in. And shall we show it to everybody? Yeah, yeah. Let's Can you hold the mic for us, mate? I want it back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the case that the symbol is. Obviously, we can lift this up. There's only about half a dozen symbols in it at the moment. It could be heavy. And inside, well, let's open that up. Eric, can you? Right. You get the album, vinyl, triple vinyl album, the CD, and up here is a pair of these drumsticks. Shall we shut it? Right. Uh, as we mentioned, um, on the symbol, can I have the mic? <laughs> I got it back. <coughs> on the t on it, we got the, uh, the the centre artwork of the Mayan calendar with the Tuna Tuna Tioa, and we have Piesty etched in, all done with um, uh, laser etching, and it's great. And we have an absolutely wonderful plaque on the front which says Piesty 
in the regular uh, in the regular font, and underneath it says Maiden, M A I D E N, Switzerland in the Maiden font. And, uh, <laughs> I've got to say a, great, a, a shout out to Evo, uh, who works with Peisty. He's a young lad. He's been with the company, well, four or five years, Evo. And a uh, young lad, um, and Eric said to him, here you go, make a case for Nico Symbols. And he worked on various models, didn't he? And then I went over to see the guys last year when we were, we were doing a show not too far away from Knockville. And we visited, and he came up, and we finally settled on this beautiful case. And uh, as I said, it comes with an album signed by myself, a CD signed by myself, the Book of Souls book, and these these drumsticks. Now, Vic Firth made me these drumsticks just for the Book of Souls tour. Uh, we do have a signature line, and but the logo Boomer, that's my nickname, boys and girls. Anybody know why? Anybody got a clue why I'm called Boomer? I'm glad, because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, these, the, the Boomer logo is, <laughs> is in uh, the Iron Maiden Book of Souls font. The normal Boomer is in the Iron Maiden font, not the Book of Souls font. So they're very, very, very special, because you can't buy them. So those come with the, with the box too. Um, shall we have a little listen to the, the, the set of symbols? Be before we go over... How many boxes are there? Boxes do what, mate? How many boxes are there? 83. Okay. We decide. We, we were wondering, you know, because it's such a special edition of these symbols, with this wonderful artwork on. Uh, we went. We, we decided maybe 50 at first, didn't we? Then went to 100. And Eric, I've got to say, he's, he's he's immense with his ideas. He said, "Hey Nick, let's do 83." I said, "Yeah, that's when I joined the band." Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. only 83 sets of these that will be commercially available. I've got a couple of sets in the warehouse for the next part of the yeah, tour which we're going on. You don't have a box. I don't have a box. No, I've got a big flight case because Charlie has to pull away every night. Uh, bless him. But, uh, okay, so moving on, as Eric mentioned, since 89, uh, and I was also very blessed to have uh, been on the Peisty Advisory Board with, to, with Robert Peisty, uh, Eric's uncle, and Freddie Studer and I, and 23 other drummers from around the world. I think JR, you might have been involved with that too, right? No. No, JR wasn't involved with it. Sorry, mate. Uh, anyway, just a brief history to the signature. There were 24 drummers were asked what they wanted to hear on a cymbal. Prior to, to the signature uh, cymbal line, I used 2002s. And so the, the, each of these drummers were asked about the signature line, and this is where we are today basically out of 24 of us from around the world, all different types of genres of music, were asked about their symbol and the input. So Robert then went and made the signature line. So what we have over here is basically, well, there's a couple of aliens set up in this, this setup, believe me, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, they are of the signature reflected line, and most of the crashes we're gonna have a quick listen to over here are the heavy full crash, and uh, I'm going to step over and we'll go round. It's basically set up how like I have it set on my drum set. Um, excuse me, get out of the way, will ya? Let me through, and you, bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've got enough lead to get over. Here we go, thank you very much. Um, I'm using the microphone just for the benefit of me being deaf. Just this. Right, it starts, it, starts, <laughs> it starts out, as I said, heavy full crashes all on this side of the drum set. This is a 15. Heavy full crash. This 15. Got a lovely little bell on it too, hasn't it? Very quick, nice. You can't buy that. And you have six, Tyria. No. Tom. Oh, the Tom Tom. We're not talking about drums, we're okay. talking about cymbals! <laughs> right, yeah, he's right. It's, it sits above my six inch. I got six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hanging tongs, so they live underneath all these symbols. But this drum, this, this particular symbol here uh, was made for me, I asked Eric many, many years ago, I said, look, I've got a set, I used to have a 17 root here, which you'll see is one, this is one of the aliens. It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a signature reflected symbol, is it? It's a root. Rude. Uh, and so uh, I had two 17s and I don't like the duplication. In terms, uh, and they sounded the same because they were both 17 
crash right, you know, crash right. So, all right, I'll make you a 15, he says. Oh, fantastic. So that's why we've got a 15. You can't buy this for love nor money unless you buy this set, of course, and then you get that with it. It gets thrown in, right? Right, okay, 15. Right, and above that, I've got a 19 heavy full crash. Love it. Then below that, I have a 16. So it's 15, 19, 16, 20, 18. Okay, all full heavy crash. Heavy full crash. Sorry. <laughs> that is that is just music, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? So, there you go. 15, 19, 16, 20, 18. Now, over here, I've got heavy high hats. Beauty as well. So, everything's heavy. Then, this is the second alien in the group. Now this symbol lives on the top of my bass drum, right in between the 13 and 14 tom tom, just so you know. Yes. Right? That's then, right. Now this is this is another very unique symbol. You can't buy this for love nor money unless you buy the book of soul set of symbols in the box. Because this here is a very beautiful, as I said, it's an alien. The other brothers and sisters have a moan at each other about this one. Because this is a 602 bass metal, boys and girls, and they don't make this anymore except for. Who? Me. <laughs> it is a 13 inch heavy bell. Now this heavy bell symbol, and it does get a clobbering in the Maiden show, especially at the beginning of Hallow Be Our Name, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could, if I don't choke that, I'll come back to that in five minutes, it will still be going, singing to you. Right, so that's me 602. Then we come up here to the 22 inch bell ride. Now this here is a monster. It is. It's got the most incredible bell sound to it. I love it. I mean, I, I do a lot of bell work, I've always have, and, and the new album, it's quite distinct. You know, I talked to Martin, oh, uh, not Martin Perch, that's the old guy. Kevin Shirley, I said, Kevin, I'm doing a lot of bell work, bring it out, can you? So you will put another microphone under it for you. So we had a microphone cut right at the cut. But anyway. thing about this symbol is you it, I, I have mine very tight it doesn't wash a lot and you can crack and ride this thing and it will max out and it doesn't get it doesn't lose its integrity which is phenomenal now before I move on to these I just want to let you know that this 22 and the 22 foot heavy full crash over here has got the logo on six times whereas most of the other symbols in fact all of the other symbols have it on four so you're getting an extra logo or two on each of these symbols. <laughs> bear that in mind. Okay, so then we move over. This is the second alien, or the first one we talked about, which is my Crash Ride 17 Rude. Now, the way this came about for me was way back in when I was using the 2002s. I just needed a primary Crash symbol to add a bit more cut, which was this baby. And uh, I've just stuck with it because I love the, route, the Crash Ride Route 17. It's just a preference. I mean, you, you know, 
Why? Well, it's just such a beautiful symbol. Hang on. I'll blast the other one. That's not good. Now, being there of different metals, it's quite surprising, isn't it? Because they're so compatible. The contrast between this beautiful rood and the rest of these Heberpool crashes, it really complements in my book. Anyway, so now, we're gonna move over. Now, I've got the 20 inch heavy full crash over here. This is a vast medium. Now, I'm gonna tell you, before this was a fast medium, it was a prototype, yeah? Which we will move over to and tell the story about these in a minute. So I'm gonna let you hear the, the, the difference between the, these. Funny story about this, right? I think I started using this probe. Now, what happened was, right, I didn't want to duplicate. Remember, I was telling you about the 17 rude I had over here, and I swapped it out for a 15 because I didn't want to duplicate. So I said, oh, God knows who it was I spoke to. He must have been 18, 19 years ago. I said, Can I have a different, like a, a, a medium thin crash? What I'm doing? Well, could you make something for me? Well, all right, we'll make something for it. Well, actually, so I think Eric talked to one of the guys in, in uh, the research and development. They said, yeah, we made a 20 prototype. It's kind of a thin crash-ish. It's pretty it ain't a heavy full crash. And then actually I was using the power crashes in those days. It was slightly different. So they gave me the prototype. And it was so good, they kept making them for me. And then I turned around to Eric and said, hey, Rick, yeah. it's about 12 years ago. Eric, why don't we put the prototype, you know, call it something else, obviously. Call, oh, could, could you call it a prototype? Why don't we put it in the family? No, oh, no, I'm not having that. He says, I said, come on, mate. He said, well, let me think about it. Next year, Eric, yeah. you know that prototype, Simon? No, I'm, I'm not thinking about using that, Nick. Not, not right now. So anyway. The prototype has finally, bless his heart, after much persuasion <laughs> with the TBOS symbols, it's given in to me, and this is now renamed a fast medium, which we will get to after I just wrap up the book of so, I'm all right for time, son. Oh, jeez. He said 20 minutes. I oh, see you're having a laugh, and yeah. Anyway, so we've got, let's go, 17 root, fast medium 20. And now, the heavy full crash 22. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> is, it, is it possible to climax? Yes, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Siri. Um, right, last symbol in the group. Number, I call it 13. Because that's, that's two symbols, isn't it, I have? There's only one. Well, there's two there, look. One on the top, one on the bottom. You can eat, you can eat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming tonight. You make these, these events very, very special to us all. And I know to everybody that works here, let's give everyone a round of applause. Patrick behind the bar and the guys who've got the food for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I think, I think I'm going to get slung out now. But uh, thank you all so very much, and I hope you love the TBOS symbols as much as uh, you love everything else here. And uh, it's been a great honour to present this to you this evening. Thank you so very much. Woo!